Known as the city with a smile, it's a staple in the town of Freeport, Minnesota, and if you've ever driven west on I-94, you've probably seen it and know just what I'm talking about. Since the smiley face was painted on it, uh, it, it has taken on a life of its own. Whenever I bring up Freeport, they don't necessarily know where it is, but they always associate the, the tower with the smiley face on it. Since the 1920s, this water tower known as the Tin Man has served as a landmark engraved in the city seal depicted in every corner of the town. So the original Freeport water tower was a wooden bowl structure built uh, and it burnt down in uh, July 31st, 1920. It's now outlived its 50 year life expectancy after the line was cut off in 2012 and now faces the possibility of being torn down. There's no way that the town's just gonna let it go. In 2003, the city conducted a structural and coating analysis which revealed a number of environmental hazards. Lead and chromium based paint, they found poor adhesion for the paint that was on it. It's not that we've forgotten about the water tower or neglected it, it's more so in the fact that we, you know, with a small city, we have to be financially responsible with our budgets. Now, nearly 20 years after those findings, city leaders are trying to figure out a way to save this iconic structure, which could involve the taxpayer. Nobody wants to see an additional tax. So, Mayor Mike says the city is investing in a study, which will soon be underway in hopes of keeping this town smiling. It's going to depend on what the study comes back with. If we have to do a total sandblast and, and capture of the materials that are up there, or if it can just be with modern paint technologies, if we can just seal everything in. In Freeport, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News. The city has designated $2,500 from its budget to invest in the study, which is set to begin in April.